Let me say in clear terms that I'm the happiest person this evening to witness the commissioning of this very gigantic project. My happiness stems from the fact that the 20 communities that this project is going to serve, they are oil producing community of the Niger Delta region. We are fully aware that before now, the 20 communities were disjointed. With the construction of this very road, they can easily assess themselves. And that means that the economic activities of this very region will be increased, and that will consequently lead to the development of this very area. Let me say in clear term, your Excellency, that when we resume office in August, sometimes in January, I and the Permanent Secretary sign performance board with the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Sometimes in February and March, the management of NDDC and the board, they also sign performance board with the ministry. What we are witnessing today is a product as a result of such commitment that has been embedded in that very bond. And I want to thank the management and team of the Niger Data Development Commission for listening to our instruction and being able to get this project committed. And I want to say also that now we have a full complement of the National Assembly here represented by the Senate President and the galaxy of Senators. I want to assure the people of Niger Data that with the 2024 budget, of the NDDC already in the Senate passed. I'm sure the Senate President will, by this time next year, will be quarreling why he's being invited every week to come and commission projects in the Niger Delta region. And to also let you know that the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Bola Ametinibu, is deeply committed towards the development of Niger Delta region. And that is why you see the present composition in the in, 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 in the budget of NDDC 2024. And having met with him, he directed that the budget should be shaped in that direction so that all abandoned projects in the Niger Delta region should be executed. And he has promised to assist the Niger Delta Development Commission to raise specific funds in order to complete abandoned projects here and there. So I think that's settled the question that I've been asked, or rather the issue that I've been raised by one of the speakers earlier. that. Now that this project has been commissioned, all other projects that are scattered here and there that have not been committed should be committed. But I can assure you that with the passage of 2024 budget, all those legacy signature projects will be commissioned in due course. Once again, I have to thank you, Mr. Senate President, for deeming it necessary to be here this evening. And also thank you because at one time you, you were where I am today and you were one of those who also contributed towards the completion of this very project. Once again, I thank you and thank members of your team. Your Excellency, the series of commissionings we have been doing is in commemoration of Mr. President's one-year anniversary, and we thought we also need to express Mr. President's renewed hope agenda in the Niger Delta. Not only for the Niger Delta people to hear, but for them to feel it. That renewed hope agenda is real. In the past week, we have commissioned a transmission station in Okitukupa, another one in Edo State, nine kilometer road in Aqua Apia State. Then, just recently on Saturday, we commissioned a 27.5 kilometer road with seven bridges in Bayasa State. All as a gift to the people of the Niger Delta from Mr. President. We have not only done commissionings. In commemoration of Mr. President's one-year anniversary, we have also carried out free medical health care across the nine states of the Niger Delta region as part of the one-year anniversary. We are also flagging off the phase two of Project Hope to take care of our youth in terms of training. And we are also delivering 48,000 tablets of youth lessons to schools in the Niger Delta to aid our students, both in primary and secondary school. These tablets are going to be both used both online and offline. Your Excellency, sir, I just want to use this opportunity to thank Mr. President for giving us this opportunity to also express ourselves and to prove to him 
that the present management and board of NDDC are capable of sending this message to the people of Niger Delta. This message of renewed hope and to also beg the people of the Niger Delta that the only way you can say thank you to Mr. President is to support the programs and policies of the present administration and above all to protect national assets from vandalization because the more crude oil is produced in the Niger Delta, the more NDDC is also going to make more money, the more we are going to deliver more projects to you. All these, we are telling you that Mr. President is committed to the development of the Niger Delta region 